President Rodrigo Duterte says police officer Jovi Espinido, who was earlier tasked to chase after mayors with alleged links to illegal drugs, will next be assigned to Iloilo. Duterte once called Iloilo the most, quote, shabulized province in the country. The president also awards Espinido with the Magalong Medal, Order of Lapu-Lapu on National Heroes Day. The award is for both public and private individuals who rendered extraordinary service or have made exceptional contributions to the success of an activity pursuant to a campaign or advocacy of the president. Espinido was assigned to two mayors with alleged drug trade links, both of whom died in police operations. He is currently Ozami City Police Chief. Former Ozami City Mayor Reynaldo Parohinog, his wife, and 13 others were killed late July during a police operation. Before Ozamis, Espinido was Albuera police chief. Albuera's mayor, Rolando Espinosa, was killed in his jail cell last November. <music> Senator Antonio Chiliana seeks a parallel Senate probe into the corruption at the Bureau of Customs following the expose of Senator Panfilo Laxo and that certain officials are accepting bribes. Trillanes files a Senate resolution directing the Ways and Means Committee to conduct an investigation into the possible violations of the Customs Modernization and Tariff Act. The Senate already has an ongoing investigation into the corruption in the agency under the Justice Committee. The probe focuses on the 6.4 billion peso shabu shipment smuggled from China. Trillanes says numerous officials are receiving tara or bribe money, citing testimonies of customs broker and fixer Mark Daguba in the probe. He also cites Laxon's privileged speech that named customs personnel, led by former customs commissioner Nicanor Faldon, who are allegedly paying and receiving bribes. Faldon denies the allegations and, in turn, accuses Laxon's son of smuggling. Expedia chief Dara Koso Shahi has been chosen to replace ousted Travis Kalanick as the next CEO at Uber. A New York Times report says Koso Shahi emerged the leader among three finalists during company board meetings over the weekend. The others in the shortlist were Hewlett Packard Enterprise Chief Meg Whitman and former GE CEO Jeff Immel. Uber has been without a boss since June when Kalanick resigned, yielding to pressure from investors seeking to clean up a toxic corporate culture. <laughs> 